99.9 WHAM Web Radio Lemur's Top 10 Created by Josh Down We start this episode with Lemur at Wham Radio Studio On a Sunday morning He walks his way from his cubicle into the studio And sits down and gets ready to do his show A few moments would pass And he would push a couple buttons on the soundboard And we hear it go 99.9 WHAM Wham Radio presents Lemur's Top 10 songs that don't get played on the radio anymore. Yep, that's right. It's time for this week's Top 10. You submitted your votes and I had Rocky count them all for this week. (laughs) Poor Rocky. As you all may have heard, we dug deep into the vault of music that we had to find bands from the early 2000s that just don't get any radio play anymore. I'm your host, Lemur, so let's dive in, shall we? Lemur shuts off the mic and talks to himself as he works the soundboard. Ah, you know, being here at the radio station this early Sunday morning is nice. It's so quiet. No one's around to bother you. Lately, it's been, like, so chaotic you can't even do a jock break on the air without someone coming into the studio to interrupt you for something. Ah. It's just so peaceful. I love Sunday mornings at the radio station. Lieber's Top 10. Number 10. Alrighty. Number 10 is actually two different bands. Because, well, I had a hard time deciding between the two. Both are supergroups, and by that I mean every one of these bands that I'm about to mention come from other famous bands. The first band up is a little band called Velvet Revolver. This band formed in California, like a lot of bands on this list, in a town called, um, Santa Margarita. The band was only active from 2002 to 2008 and had one reunion in 2012. The band consisted of three members of Guns N' Roses. Of course, one of them was Slash and Duff, and whatever the other guy's name is. It was not Axl Rose, though. The singer was from STP. Oh yeah, and the rhythm guitarist was from the punk band Wasted Years. Velvet Revolver made a mark as long as the band lasted. Two albums, one good and one stinky few, at least before the band separated. The singer of Velvet Revolver did crawl back to his old band and beg for their forgiveness, and they did last for a few more years, but would eventually crumble when he died. Stupid drugs and the other members of the band, you know, from Guns N' Roses, did find newfound glory with Axl Rose. And, hey, did you know this? Fun fact, Axl Rose was actually the singer of ACDC for a very short time. (laughs) Pretty cool, right? So you may ask, why did Velvet Revolver end? Well, unfortunately, and allegedly... The singer was tough to work with, and that's all it said. Some of the amazing hits Velvet Revolver provided us with would be Fall to Pieces, Slither, She Builds Quick Machines, and Dirty Little Thing. Now, shall we dive in for a tune from the band? Here we go, only here on 99.9 WHAM Wham Radio. Alright, so tied to number 10 is also another super group called Audio Slave. This band formed in Glendare, California, was active from 2001 to 2007. The band consisted of the members of Rage Against the Machine, minus the singer, because, well, guess who the singer was? Chris freaking Cornell! You know, the guy of Soundgarden? Unfortunately, the band would not be able to get over personality complex or musical differences, and Audio Slave would disappear as quickly as it arrived, just like Velvet revolver. But with the unfortunate suicide of Chris Cornell, it's a piece of his iconic voice that will always live on forever in our hearts. Audio Slave was active from the year 2000 to 2007, and some of their hit songs include Like a Stone, Be Yourself, Show Me How to Live, I Am the Highway, Doesn't Remind Me, Gasoline, and the list literally goes on and on. And this is just one of the freaking bands Chris Cornell played in. <laughs> For more Chris Cornell music, check out his solo project, Chris Cornell, or the band Soundgarden. Now, here's a song from Audio Slave.
Wow, can you believe these songs are like 20 to 25 years old? I mean, mine is a few thousand years and all. <laughs> what a cool year to be alive for music. It was like metal was new, and bands expressed themselves with dark and scary sounds and emotional singing. Don't turn that dial. We're taking a quick commercial break, and we'll be right back. Only here on 99.9 WHAM Wham Radio. Skinny Pop Popcorn. 99.9 WHAM Wham Radio. Your hits from yesterday to today, and home to shows like Wake and Bake and Late Night with Lemur. You're listening to Lemur's Top 10 on Sundays. Lemur's Top 10, number 9. In the wise words of John Lennon, number 9? <laughs> oh, my bugs, bunny. I can't help but wonder what would have happened if he wasn't killed so young. Imagine the music that would have been created and how it would have impacted the world today. Anyway, this next band hasn't put an album out since the year 2011, but they were surprisingly formed in 1992, but didn't get radio popularity until the early 2000s. With hits like Blurry, She Hates Me, Stoned, and so many more, they were another driving force of rock that suddenly emerged in the early 2000s and kicked some serious ass. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you a band from Kansas, Missouri, called Puddle of Mud. Yeah, all right. Now that's what I'm talking about. (laughs) It blows my mind that these songs are 20 years old and don't get played on classic rock radio stations or the alternative rock ones either. So, and we're doing something about it. Lemur's Top 10, number 8. This next band is called Something Corporate. The band is from, of course, you guessed it, California. But where? Orange County. The lead singer is a true inspiration for those around the world. Andrew McKinnon is his name. The lead singer would be diagnosed with cancer at the age of 22. But the good news would be he totally kicked its ass. And is now a true inspiration for anyone that might be going through that type of battle. Hang tough to anyone listening. We all have dark days, but we all have good days too. The band Something Corporate, as I said, was formed in 1998, but of course didn't get popular until 2002. Here's one of their hit songs, I Woke Up In A Car. Hey, what are you doing? Don't touch that dial. We'll be right back after this commercial break. Only here on 99.9 WHAM. Wham Radio. It's Lemur's Top 10 on Sundays. Finger Blasters commercial. 99.9 WHAM. Wham Radio. Your hits from yesterday to today. Played all over Eagle Falls. Lemur's Top 10. Number 7. Uh, Okie dokie, Smokey. So we can't talk about the early 2000s music without mentioning punk music? Duh! Sub 41, Blink-182, Nofax, MXPX, and Rocky, what the hell are you doing here? I'm brand new, the host, Techie Mock Sunday, and Green Day. Ah! What? Is it because I said green? Ah! Okay, I won't say it. Ah! Oh, sorry, I thought you were going to say it again. <laughs> Lame. Jeez, for a second there, I thought you were going to pinch a loaf on the ground. Um, what do you mean, pinch a loaf? A brand? Uh, never mind. What are you doing here? Um, I'll tell you in a minute. Hi, bird dogs listening. Oh, damn it, Rocky, I lost my spot. No, you didn't. You're sitting in the same spot you were when I came in. Huh? Wait, what? Oh, you mean the other spot. Like the Spidey villain? Or are you talking about a lady's G-spot? I don't know if we could talk about that on air. Rocky! What? Don't give me that look. I'm just joshing around. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. But don't doubt it. Ha <laughs> Okay, so this just got awkward. You know, you were at number seven with the band, brand new. I said band, brand. That was fun to say. <laughs> oh, oh, right, thank you. The story is kind of a messed up one, so we're just gonna say the lead singer got himself into some trouble, and that's what killed this band. Thinking with the wrong head is what killed this band. <laughs> brand new, the band was from Levittown, Long Island, New York. Oh, wow, Liam, that's not too far from here. They formed in the year 2000. But as Lean Dog said, the singer got himself into some trouble, killing the band. There, there, I think I got it all. Now, can I play the song? Sure, go ahead. S H I B B Y should play. <laughs> oh crap, our dog, I almost forgot. The band was active from 2000 to 2009, and some of their hit songs included Limousine, The Quiet Things That No One Ever Knows. <laughs> These are fun to say, Lean. And Ben Reactor. And Jesus Christ, so many more. So without further ado, here we go. Further ado? What are you, freaking French now? Oui. <laughs> Does that mean yes? Just push the button, Liam. WHAM Wham Radio Your hits from yesterday to today I'm Rocky Raccoon taking over for the moment Cause lemurs pooping (laughs) 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 (laughs)
Lieber's Top 10, number 5. If you haven't guessed it yet, the band is called Stain. <laughs> Get it? That's why Rocky went to the bathroom? <laughs> I know, ew, gross, but hey, it made me laugh. Everybody knows Aaron Lewis and his deep, iconic voice. But no one knows why the hell he went to country music after rocking such songs as Mud Shovel, Outside, So Far Away, and so many freaking others. Stain was formed in 1995 in Springfield, Massachusetts. And if it weren't for Aaron Lewis going country, I'd like to think that they would still be around today to rock all of our faces off. Still! So, since Rocky will be back any minute now, here's to the Stain he had in hopes that it's gone away. Wait, why wouldn't you play the God Away song? Shut up, it's my show. Look who I found. Hurry up, come on in. Hop on. Get ready and... 99.9 WHAM WHAM Radio. It's me, Flocked Amanda, the secretary. And I'm not okay that this next band is number four. Lieber's Top Ten. Number four. My chemical romance should be like two, number one, but I digress. This band is from what used to be called New Jersey, from a town called Newark. It's now called... Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. You don't gotta say that part. It's a dirty word now. We'll get in trouble if we say it. Okay, well, fuck beep. that shit. Beep, 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 beep. Amanda, I said not to say it. And here, I thought it was gonna be Rocky that I was gonna have to use the beep button for. Oh, um, sorry, Lean. So, the singer, of course, Gerald Way, is the reason the band is no longer around, stating, It wasn't fun anymore. And my heart would shatter that day it happened. The band, and included such hits as Helena, I'm not okay, Teenagers, and Welcome to the Black Parade, as well as so many more. So, to honor that it's not okay, here's My Chemical Romance. Really, Ween? What? Why didn't you choose It's Not Okay? I even set it up. Holy bajeebus, we started at 10. More like 11. And now we're finally down to the bottom three. Thank Bucks Bunny, I'm dying to know who's number one. Godsmack, Chevelle, Incubus? We gotta take a quick pause for station identification, but don't go anywhere, because we'll be right back. 99.9 WHAM. You're listening to Lemur's Top 10. 
here on Wham Radio. Don't forget, you can listen to Wham Radio anywhere. The podcasts are available to listen to. Spotify, YouTube, iTunes, and wherever else podcasts are listened to. Let's now head back to our regular scheduled program. Lieber Stop Den, number three. Oh my god, this is so cool. Thank you so much for letting me be a part of this. Oh, shit, 99.9 WHAM Wham Radio. It's your girl Ramona, and I'm here to tell you about the number three band on today's lineup known as AFI, or A Fire Inside to some. This band on the list was actually formed in the 1990s, 91 to be exact, formed in Yukai, California. But it wasn't until Davey Havoc joined the band in 98 when they started getting recognition. The breakout album for me was the Sing the Sorrow album, with songs like Girls Not Grey, Miss Murder, Leaving Songs 1, one and two, as well as many others. It's no doubt they made this list. They stood the test of time and have held up after all these years. I don't know about you guys, but I'm gonna have a hard time not singing and dancing to this one. Here's Celestial Dream by AFI. Could you please turn off my mic because I'm totally gonna walk out to this one. <laughs> Thank you! Lemur's Top 10, Number 2. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. This is awesome. I'm stoked. I got this next band on a bootleg concert DVD from a place called Northern Lights. <laughs> Have you ever seen a band in concert and they sound identical to what they sound like on the album? Well, that's this next band, Smile of Empty Soul. They formed in Santa Clarita, California in 1998. Their first record was a rare one in which every song was amazing. Bottom of a Bottle, Nowhere Kids, The Other Side, and that's just the first album. They would go on to release a few more albums, but unfortunately, two of the members of the band would eventually call it quits and Smile of Empty Souls would be no more. You know, if you ever want to see what a Smile of Empty Soul looks like, just look up or talk to my man Rocky Raccoon. Trust me, once you do it, <laughs> you'll understand. So to honor the band that once was, here's Smile Empty Soul. Alrighty, bird dogs, it's the moment you've all been waiting for. The number one band from the early 2000s that doesn't get enough radio play anymore is coming up next from Sadie Squirrel. But before we do that, let's have some honorable mentions of bands that didn't quite make the list, but deserve to be mentioned. Some of the bands include Hoovisink, Incubus, Plus 44, Godsmack, Chevelle, The Postal Service, Sick Puppies, Flyleaf, and Queens of the Stone Age. Crap! Why didn't they make the list? Oh well, I guess there's next time. We'll be back with the number one pick from bands from the early 2000s that don't get played enough anymore, right after these messages. Answer ad now. 99.9 WHAM Wham Radio. Your hits from yesterday to today. Played all over Eagle Falls. Wham Radio. Only here on 99.9. You're listening to Lieber's Top 10. 99.9 WHAM Wham Radio, your hits from yesterday to the day. Now before we get to the number one song, let's go over the previous choices real quick. At number 10 was Velvet Revolver and Audio Slave. Number 9 was A Puddle of Mud. Number 8 was Something Corporate. Number 7 was Brand New. Number 6, Deftones. Number 5 was What Rocky Made in His Pants. <laughs> Number five was Stained. Number four, MCR, or known as My Chemical Romance. 
Number three is a fire inside, or known as AFI. That's what that's st- wait, is that what a- wait, that's what AFI stands for? <laughs> number two, smile, empty soul, and number one. This band's from Angora Hills, California, formed in 1996. Their debut album, Hybrid Theory, became certified diamond and proved that metal music could be combined with rap and sound amazing. Their next album, Meteora, would go on to cement this band's history forever. But unfortunately, the lead singer would be overcome by depression and end up taking his own life, destroying the band in the process. The music world has never recovered or been the same now that the band has called it quits. Is this what killed rock and roll? Because the genre itself seems to have disappeared along with our friends, Linkin Park. Always in our hearts. Rest in peace, Chester. Here's the number one band that's not played enough anymore. Linkin Park. Alrighty, you listen to it, you can unlisten to it. Did you like everyone's picks? Did you not? I don't care. <laughs> Doesn't really matter anyway, because I don't even think you're listening. Are you? If so, please leave a comment or like. Ooh, and if you don't mind, could you please share our content so others could find it? And as always, keep your stick on the ice and head in the clouds. <laughs>